We have to warn the others. Good luck. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Game of Thrones, a game by Telltale. Now I've I am a big fan of Game of Thrones. I've watched probably up to I think I'm about halfway through series three, and it's full of fit birds, violence, sex, intrigue, lies, backstabbing. It's the real. It's hard to describe. I was a little bit dubious about Game of Thrones, and everybody said it was hype and get into it. And when I actually tried it, I thought it was absolutely brilliant. So, if you um. If you haven't actually tried Game of Thrones, the actual films, then I'm going to recommend that you actually look at those. So this is the game that's based around up to Series 3. And if you haven't actually seen any of the TV series, it really doesn't matter. You can play the game anyway. And I just want to play this game and actually enjoy it. And with a lot of games I do, I don't tend to do the whole series. But on this one, I think I will. Episode 1 is about two and a half hours long, so I'm going to break that down into 20 minute chunks. If you like it, let me know. I'm not going to be speaking through cutscenes and things like that, so that you can enjoy the game as much as I can. And um, yeah, we shall take it from there. So let's crack on, have a look, and see what we think. Incidentally, one thing I forgot to mention is I'm actually going to be playing this with a 360 pad. And the settings, uh, there's not really a lot to show you before I jump in. If we go to the settings, as you can see, they're pretty minimal when we come into the graphic settings. It won't actually go up to uh, 1920 by 1080 that's the highest resolution that it will actually go to. So, um, everything else is pretty basic in here. So, let's jump in and get going. See you on the other side. The trout, the trout, the trout in the tower, the wolves of the fish, and they all ran away. The trout, he fought all the trout. Jamie Lannister, Kingslayer, Oathbreaker, brought to his knees by the men of the North. And set free by the women. You'd think he'd done it himself the way he tells it. Lord Forrester's sword won't clean itself, you know. Okay. So it looks like we have this little cursor here <coughs> that we can move around. And obviously that button to pick it up. Make sure it's spotless this time. Lord Forrester won't be happy with blood and brains all over it. Go on, it's only blood. I need to tell you as well that this game is not for kids. I know there won't be any kids watching this, but uh, apparently it is quite violent, and so is the TV series as well. Now that is a proper sword. I'll have one like it myself someday. You? You'll never have a sword like that. I say that as a friend. And if we're being honest. You are just a squire. Oh, don't be an ass, Bowen. <laughs> Apologies, your lordship. I had Andy, you know. <laughs> and in what? Capturing him. He was nowhere near the Kingslayer at the Whispering Wood. He was so drunk, he barely made it out of his tent. Next, he'll tell us he caught Tyrion, too. <laughs> Shh. Let him finish. Oh, he'll talk all night if you let him. You captured the Kingslayer. Aye. Well, I had a hand in it. Aye. A hand round his ankle as ten others took him down. <laughs> See? What did I tell you? I brought him to his knees. Lord Forrester. And 
Not before he dragged you halfway across the battlefield on your face! You're questioning Norrin's honor. I'm questioning Norrin's story. This grows more far-fetched every time he tells it. Get your liege lord some wine. Go on. It's your job. You do it. You're his squire. It's your job, not mine. Cheeky bastard. Thank you, Garrett. I'll do it. Norrin's family has faithfully served House Forrester for centuries. His honor is beyond reproach, and House Tully is forever in his debt. You've never seen a field plowed so well as the day the Kingslayer dragged poor Norrin across the battlefield. <laughs> Fetch your cup. The night we celebrate. <laughs> to Rob Stark, the king in the north! The, the king, king in the north! Tomorrow, we march on Casterly Rock, and House Forrester has been given the greatest honor to lead the young wolf's army and ride as the vanguard! The gods have favored us. Onward! To Castle Rock! Aye! Death to the Lannisters! Aye! Iron from ice! Aye! Got it. Well, here we go. Yes, my lord. <clears throat> I need you to keep an eye out for Roderick. As his father, I could not be more proud of the man he's become. On a night like this, Men find false courage at the bottom of their cups. I'd rather he were here. Yes, my lord. There's also the question, what's to be done with you? It's been on my mind for a while now. Something must be done. With me, my lord? You've served House Forrester well for several years now, but I can't expect you to squire forever. How shall I reward your loyalty? What can I offer you? I seek nothing, my lord. Serving a noble house such as yours is reward enough. Oh, you're far too modest, Garrett. Whatever you believe is best, my lord. There were those who had their doubts when your uncle put forth your name as my squire. But you've erased those doubts entirely. It would be an honor to see you riding by Roderick's side in the vanguard tomorrow. Not as a squire, but as the equal of any man who serves House Forrester. It's well deserved, Garrett. So I'm no longer a squire? As of tomorrow, no. But for now, keep this between us. We're celebrating tonight, and I wouldn't want the other squires to feel discouraged. Yes, my lord. Now go, and find Roderick if you can. I will, my lord. Thank you. Wow. It didn't take as long, did it? <clears throat> Bloody hell. Squire! Fetch us more wine! Can you give me a hand? I suppose I better pretend. Um, get up to you. No problem. Yeah, no problem. I have been a squire longer than you. So? I outrank you. You should help me. Yeah, I know, my lord. I know. In the morning, he'll be wiping our ass. Fetch more wine, scrub my armor, clean my boots. Just my luck to end up with Norin while you serve the Lord. Let him fetch his own wine for once. He's a drunk, liar, and an arrogant prick. You'd better watch your tongue, Bowen. It could be much worse. What the fuck do you know about it? Nothing is worse than Norin. See, that's why you're lucky. Low expectations. If I'd grown up covered in big shit, shovel and slop, well, maybe I'd think saddling his horse was the greatest honor in the Seven Kingdoms. I suppose this beats pig farming. Don't get angry with me. We're no different, you and I. Aye, but I'm not the son of a pig farmer. My father had dignity. <laughs> All I'm Shit. saying is, at this rate, we'll never be more than this, which is nothing. The lowest of the low. For all I know, we could be squires for life. All in wine around a fucking wedding. What a waste mm. of fucking time. I'm not telling I'm him. sick of listening to your wine. With that <clears throat> attitude, you'll never be more than this. Easy for you to say. Maybe if my uncle were Castle, then I'd feel different. Who my uncle is has nothing to do with it. How much further? 
That's right over there. Yeah, I think we should keep Stone Maduck to him. He'll find out in the morning when we're riding horsey. It's a big Take flag in a wine. You lot have drunk your share. Good thing, Lord Walders. In a generous mood. Fucking phrase. Nice night for a wedding. Hmm. Not often he finds a willing husband for one of his daughters. Troubles are brewing. Don't expect me to carry it for you, Sir Garrett. Hmm. What's wrong? They poisoned the wine. Something's not right. It's gotten into you. You're acting rather odd. We have enough wine. And take the fucking flagging already. What's wrong with him? Something the matter? Bowen, we have to go. You go if you're in such a rush. We have to warn the others. Good luck. <laughs> oh. Uh oh. A runaway. No, oh, it's the right back. Whoa. Shit, I've lost my shield. Bollocks. I nearly didn't get that then. Get off me! Oh god. Fuck. Oh no! Oh no! Fuck, I pressed the wrong stick. Ugh. Quite gory. Right, here we go. We do this. It's the left stick. Got it. Get fucked! Get, get up, you motherfucker! Fuck, here we go, here we go, here we go! I get back! Oh, lovely. Oh no, that was our fault for shouting. Good fucking riddance. Fucking doofy. How about you? Did you find Roderick? Oh no. Speak up, Garrett. Did you see him or not? 
the phrase. They, they slaughtered him, my lord. Sorry, my lord. Where's my squire? You didn't leave him, did you? What happened to him? I, I had to leave him. I had no other choice. Find a weapon, quickly! Grab it, grab it, grab it! Not afraid, you fucking traitor! Go, my lord, while there's still time! Oh no, get up, get up, get up, get up! Seven hells. You're wounded, my lord. I've suffered worse. Well, the phrase is time to. <gasps> uh oh. <clears throat> Guard this with your life. Return it to Ironrath, where it belongs. There's no time to waste. I'm okay. damned if I let it fall into the hearts of those traitors. What the phrase you have to go. Your There's still time, my lord. We can both you get. You must go, my lord. By I... the gods, you will obey me. Tell your uncle. <laughs> Tell him the North Grove must never be lost. Tell no one but him. Do you understand? You must swear. Tell only your the uncle North. Duncan. Grove must never be lost. They depend on it. The North Grove, my lord. Hey, it's those foresters. Go. Oh, your honor, you must do this for your house. Go! Kill those uh. fucking foresters! <laughs> we love the Lord of oh. Shit, we need to run. We need to run. And that brings us nicely to the end of part one. I think this game's going to be really enjoyable, not only for people who are into Game of Thrones like I am, but also people who like uh, a great game with a bit of storytelling and something that's a little bit different. I did play, uh, was it Land of the Dead or uh, Day of the Dead or whatever it was at Telltale Games. I just couldn't get into it. I think I got up to episode two and then it sort of fizzled out a little bit for me. Things I like about Game of Thrones is it feels, this is going to sound ridiculous, it feels English to me. Um, especially on the TV series for the first first episode, it felt like it could have been part of real history. Uh, the characters were rich, the environments were uh, just brilliant. And if you agree, let me know in the comment box below, but right? to me it felt like a, almost like an English documentary. But anyway, this has been part one of Game of Thrones. Subscribe, give me a thumbs up and tell me if you want to see some more. Thanks for watching. More coming soon.